Alrighty. After the long rest, everyone should be relatively healed up. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do now? I say we bust open the door to the east. Yeah, that one. That's just to hide myself, not to open the door. Okay. <laughs> the front portion of the room. The, the, front, the room itself contains four large wooden tables, each with four stools next to them. Um, and then, of course, just off to the right of the room, south, is a large fireplace that kind of blankets the room in a soft glow. To the left, you can make out another room adjacent to this one. Well, let's investigate what's in that room. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the fairy go investigate. Just to let the DM know I'm casting uh, Mage Armor on myself. Perfect. It's gone after oh, longer. Are those piggies? Um, you can actually see in here are is like the kind of preparation area. There's a butcher's block where a lot of things have been killed. Um, there are barrels and crates full of supplies, as well as three pigs. Piggies. Mm -hmm. Piggies. Two of which have Varric's personal symbol branded on them. Sorry, ah. Vazix. Vazix personal symbol. Yeah, Vazix. Ah. I'm gonna take say a hit off the fireball bacon. Sorry, what was that? Now there might be a yeah. No, I was just joking. Hmm. So we we might want to keep this in mind because there might be a sizable reward for returning the two pigs to Barrack. I'd wager those three horses are stolen too. Oh, probably. And probably the majority of the damn food here. I think any of the livestock and supplies that we can bring back will probably be for the best. Yeah. For sure. Good thing we Has have a dragon a form might be big to ride a pig? Almost yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you were at least <laughs> six <laughs> feet tall and 250 pounds. Pig rider. Do we have that potion of giant strength still? We could feed it to a pig and have oh, a mount. God. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> we'll come back to that when we get back here. Fair. Very fair. I mean, it could be handy because we could pack the pig full of supplies. I mean, there's back. three bloody horses in the other freaking room we could use, too. Yeah, but do we have another cart? I mean, I feel a horse would be a little more reliable than a pig. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> All right. We should probably look, investigate down that tunnel. Also, I don't think we ever really investigated around the forge. Mm, no. That is also true. Which is probably a good idea because it might give us some hints on what's going on here. So let's do some investigation around the forge. Okay. <clears throat> so between Gahesh and Soleil, you guys actually managed to find a partially forged weapon. That's really all that's left here. Can we tell what kind of weapon it is? Or was supposed to be? You can see that it should have been a longsword. Well, the metal it itself of. is of extraordinarily fine make. You can't identify what it is, but you know it is durable and flexible and seems to hold some sort of resonant magic. Ooh. Okay. Mage Hand, does it get disrupted if it, like, takes fire damage or something, or is it just not just a piece of force? It is just a piece of force, but it can be disrupted. Now, you guys are actually pretty sure that you could potentially finish the job... You just have to withstand the heat of the forge to, and a few other steps, but you have to withstand the heat of the forge while heating the blade back up to optimal temperature. All right, well, who's I, our forger? I'll just sit on their head. Uh, well, I can probably do that. I got fire resistance. Cool. I'll just sit on them and my chill aura will keep them chilled. <laughs> I will get you have a, a nice... constitution saving throw with advantage. All right, cool. Nice. Who'd have thought my minty freshness would come oh. in handy? <laughs> uh... Ooh. So you get the I blade up to I, close well, to a good temperature? I think I'll inspiration re-roll that. <laughs> okay, you roll once then, just once. Yes, just once, yes. 
Oh, oh. my thing. <laughs> you do get it oh. hot, but not quite hot enough. As you kind of pull it out, you're going to need someone with enough strength to hammer out the blade's final shape. Uh, does 18 strength count? <laughs> You'd have to make a raw strength check, although if you were raging, you would have advantage on strength checks. True. Oh, get in the <laughs> shape, you weird piece of shit. <laughs> Let's go raging and ban <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. Put all your anger into it and make it a hate blade. Uh, does 22 work? <laughs> it does. You manage to hammer it out to a perfectly good shape. Um, and then you need someone who's very quick to douse the blade. Uh, uh, dex? Yep. A dexterity sleight of hand check. Oh. Oh, wow. You manage to douse the blade, but it's not quite in and out quick enough. You miss time it a little bit, and it cools too much to be inscribed properly. So you just, now you just need someone who has a relatively magical arcana gift to finish inlaying the proper magical glyphs. I got this, boys. <laughs> All right. So you oh, take a moment, wow. and you fully inlay the entirety of the blade filling out the magical symbols, and it comes to you as you're doing it, you've just created a Dragon Slayer Longsword. Oh, boy. Super Dragon Barbs. Ah, shit! Two <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Barbs just drop it. Ah! What have I done? <laughs> well. Uh. Oh. Jeez. Well, they've certainly boosted that. I guess we'll just shove that into. It would include Dragonborn then. Yeah. Are are they considered dragon type? I don't think they are. Dragonborn is literally born of dragon. Yeah, but their type is humanoid. Hmm. Well, well, I'll put that in my bag of holding just in case we need to use it. Uh, otherwise, we could probably sell it or something for some decent money so we can split it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, do you think there's anything magical about this forge, too? Do you want me to detect magic? Can I pluck one of the coals out with the mage hand, or will it just destroy the hand? The hand would be destroyed. Okay. Using detect magic, the forge uh, is magical in nature. You're not sure how but it uses conjuration magic. Would it be only oh, had some had someone that spoke ignan? <laughs> Would it be sorry. possible to buffer other weapons using the forge? Oh. Hmm. If you add a professional blacksmith, absolutely. Uh, I got a question for you. Since I took the tinker tools to make my own ammo and I got, you know, we have ample, ample sums of ball bearings. Could I make, what all would it take to make some more bullets? Time. Time. Probably gunpowder. Yeah, it didn't specify the materials needed, so. Hmm. Given that this is a door fortress, I wouldn't be surprised if all that stuff was just kind of laying about anyway, but... I'm good fairly easily within about an hour or so to rate another 20 rounds. No problem. No okay. check required. Do you need more ammo? That's uh, always... I always need more ammo. Always. Okay. <laughs> well, we can spend an hour. That's assuming people are fine with it. Otherwise, we can bugger off. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine. I think we're going to get back to the city. Mm, we could probably still investigate. We're not done checking out the area fully yet. All I'm doing that probably wouldn't hurt for someone else to go and check the horse and cart outside. Oh, that's a good point. We could maybe, go check on them and make sure they're okay. Maybe take them pigs and the horse out with you. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, Gahesh can help with that. Yeah, yeah, the rest of the rest of us could basically go take all that away. 
Well, not the rest of us, but like three of us. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I'm down for that. All right, yeah. give me one second here. We should also probably maybe think about moving however much supplies we can over to there, get it loaded on the cart and stuff. Yeah. You could probably get a fair bit done in an hour. Uh-huh. We can get a ton done in that time. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, apologies. I was just finishing up eating something really fast. <clears throat> you guys do manage to kind of skip along. You get a lot of the, like, about half of the stuff up. Um, the animals are well attended for. You've got another three or so days-ish, you think, to uh, fool around with right. now. Excellent, excellent. Nice, nice. At the end of the hour, you have 20 bullets. They are plus one to damage. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right. All right, what do you guys want Down to do now? Down the tunnel we go. Down Is, the tunnel we go. If they're plus one bullets, do they give just damage or attack as well? Just damage. Okay. I have to go tweak my longbow. Okay. So I guess from there, I guess the only way is to go down that shaft, right? Mm -hmm. It is, it is. There's no carts or anything around? There is not, no. Okay. Do you guys continue down? Yeah, just a sec. I'm just writing down uh, stuff. Yeah. I think it'd be better to have our uh, our lovely fairy go do some scouting. Probably. <sighs> she is the stealthiest of us all. Mm-hmm. All righty. Oh, and before I go, where is it? I right. feel like I'm good. So you take a look in and around, just being very careful to not trigger any traps or anything like that. Uh, you're going to have to give me a sec because this is actually a rather, relatively large area. Mm. Ooh. Take that to get up and make a coffee. We're just, I'm here though. Okay. So this massive room is lit by the glow of crystals lining the walls. Numerous rock formations cover the floor and ceiling, and a large hole can be seen in the northeast corner of the room. Around it, you can see the corpses of smallish humanoids that lay in piles. Otherwise, the room is empty. You mean, like, corpses or people snoozing? Definitely corpses. Hmm. Now, I'm assuming it looks like they just piled them up in the corner. It does, yes. Okay, not like they were wandering around and boom. No. All right, well, I will squeeze up on the wall up here. Check out the tunnel. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have any source of magical invisibility? I'm assuming the answer is not no. invisibility, no. Okay. I had the option. I couldn't remember if I took it or not. All right. You are as stealthy as you can possibly be, but you do have to cross open terrain to get to where you're going, which does not do good things for you. 
Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right then. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's a red dot. Oh no. Oh, it's a big red dot. So there are just... three crossbow attacks with advantage, uh, one warhammer pick attack with advantage, and then a big fuck off warhammer that's coming in to crush you. As four regular sized Durgar and one very big one wearing a whole lot better armor pop out of nowhere to attack you. Well, it was a good run, folks. <laughs> uh, so that's 23 to hit, and then... 20... I have 16 AC. So, 1, 2, and... The third one misses. And then the big guy's attack. He'll hit. Twice. And then the little guy's melee attack. will hit. So you get two crossbow attacks... Rip Soleil. Now, that's 13 damage. Mm -hmm. Just total or each for one hit? No, that's 13 for the two crossbows. And okay. six um, for the Warhammer. Sorry, War Pick. So 19 when total they so far. attacked, mm -hmm. were they invisible or did I see them before they attacked? They were invisible before they attacked, before they launched the attack. Okay. So Uncanny Dodge would not come into play for one of them. No. Uh, the secondary attack that the big guy is going to hit you with, you could uncanny dodge. Okay. I I will if he hits. <laughs> uh, he did hit twice. Okay. Well, I'll half the second one then. Okay. We only get one reaction, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be... the f so So far you've taken 19 damage. Uh, the first Warhammer attack hits you for 15 damage. So you've taken 34 so far. Are you still standing? Yep. Okay. Barely. Then they take 5 damage from the second Warhammer hit. Still good? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Everybody roll for initiative. All right, it's uh, saving saving our our pirate friend. Okay. People who are outside roll for initiative too to come back in. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, we didn't start scouting until everyone was. Yeah, in. Every, everyone was already here. So like this, this is when everyone got back. This everyone's mm -hmm. good to go. We made sure of that. Uh... I don't know if he'd be over in the corner of that room. No, definitely not. He'd have so, to be in the uh, yeah, have to be over here. Hmm? <laughs> Inspiration, is it just a reroll, or can you add a number on top of it? It would just be a reroll. I'm yep. tempted to reroll that initiative. You can also use it to stabilize yourself. Yeah, see, odds are when one of them hit me, it's going to be past stabilizing. I'm just going to be dead. Uh, Gahesh, what was your... Did you roll initiative? No, not yet. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was working on getting my character over here. That's good. Uh, nice. Right? I might take the lower initiative just so that we have... Something at the very bottom in case something happens. Okay, so now that, that that's up and done with, the big guy makes a whistling noise. Just a whoosh, and you can hear something grumble in the caverns beyond. Oh boy. All right, the first person to react is Carrick. 
Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe. Let me double check. Mm -hmm. That was one too many. So I'm right there. Uh, and I might as well throw my rage up already. Okay. And you do have a javelin. Uh, I have 16 javelins. <laughs> you can go ahead and toss one. Just, so, just yeet them. Uh, yeah, I will yeet javelins. But first, D8, K2. Uh, wild Surge. I can teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space I can see. Save me, Kara Klon Kenobi. <laughs> You're my only help. <laughs> so uh, I'll teleport. Let's see, what's in 30 feet? One, two. I had uh, basically most of the square is behind them. Uh, is this this space here unoccupied by? Yep. Anything or is that occupied? Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to maybe smack the big fuck off dwarf first. You do have advantage. So I just yeah. How terrifying would it be to hear a a, a, a like barbarian just scream out in rage? <laughs> you turning your head to see nothing there. <laughs> and then just turning back the seeds behind you. Yep. <laughs> a teleporting barbarian is a terrifying barbarian. So oh. just just as an FYI, I can use that effect again on each of my turns as a bonus action to oh my again. god. That is beautiful. That's I am that I am going to be a teleporting <laughs> barbarian. Alright, let's smack him twice. So the first hit will actually hit. Nice. Uh, give me a second, though. I have to go check. Apparently, they yep. said I get closed my stuff. I'm like, no, don't close. Okay. More. More than enough. So with both attacks, you do manage to hit him really hard, dealing first 15 and then 14 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't even seem to stagger him. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Next in the initiative is... Soleil. Oh, sweet tap dancing fuck, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to disengage with my cunning action and dash with my regular action. <laughs> okay, it does provoke an attack of opportunity. No, not disengaging. It does. What? There's a feat for it and everything. Oh, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, uh, it, isn't it Gesh's turn first? Has he got a 20 initiative? Oh, frig, I didn't see. Oh, no, yeah, yeah Gesh. Sorry, Gesh. Oh. Sorry, be so silly before you go. Gesh, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to move up to here. And I'm going to shout out, I'm sorry, Soleil and Karak. And I'm going to fireball at fourth level. You know I have two HP, right? Unfortunately, I don't know that. Is it, is it possible for him to aim and only hit me and a good <laughs> chunk of the Drugar? Because uh... I don't mind as much as I got resistance. Um... Uh... He could hit four of the Duragar and you, yes. Do that, then. Are you this at disadvantage or regular? Oh, it's regular. Regular damage. Yeah, it's not a targeted attack. It's an area attack. Yep. I have to make a deck saving throw, right? Yes, you do. Cool, I got an advantage on that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the three little guys that you target do fail, taking the full 22 points of damage and crisping them up pretty good. However, the large guy doesn't even seem to be bothered by the fire. It's a gentle wave for him, and that's it. Fair enough. 
So, uh, since I have resistance, I take nine damage. Uh, you would take eleven damage because it's it's 11. total of twenty-two. So eleven damage, yeah. No biggie. Alrighty, then it's gonna go to Soleil. Ah. Good. All right, Soleil, what do you want to do? Oh, sorry, I was muted. I said, go ahead and do his attack of opportunity. All right. Because anything I do is gonna provoke one right now. Twenty-two to hit. Yep. See you guys. <laughs> oh wait, I can do the. Uh... Dodge thing, please. Uncanny dodge, oh. yep. So half it. So you take eight points of damage as he smacks you onto the ground and your body hits and goes limp. Yep. Well, I'm going to take this note to go to the bathroom. Fair enough. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, Soleil's turn's gone, so it's going to be Beltol. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to move up as far as I can first off. So six squares? Yeah. One, two, three. Four. Up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, that's really far. Touch, touch. Well, a lot of these are touch, huh? Mm-hmm. Ouch. Um... Well, um, damn it, if only my aura, how much space until me and them? About 30? No, way more than that, huh? There's actually a little ruler on your little bar, so you can go from you to them is about 30 feet to start, to Soleil is 40 feet. Hmm. Okay, uh, could I summon spiritual weapon then? Um, Ooh. on them? I put it right there, the little square, right there. Perfect. And, uh... Attack him. Could I do third level? Absolutely. So it now deals 3d8 per hit. Yep. 3d8 plus 3. Plus 3? Mm-hmm. All right, so go ahead and roll. Which one are you attacking, the big guy or one of the little guys? Uh, the big guy. Hey, don't forget you have to do. You still have to roll for the attack, which will be. Oh a, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it'll be a d20 plus six. With a 13, you don't even manage to scratch his armor, so that takes up your bonus <laughs> action. You still have an action left to go as well. He is within range of Toll the Dead. Yeah, I'm going to have to use it. I'll use it on him for sure since he's damaged. Okay, makes a wisdom save. <laughs> and I have to double check his gotcha. stats. You have a 14 save, so... He makes the save and you deal no damage to him. 
No, he makes a save, not you. So it's his stuff. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about I it. I miss our juice. All right. It's all good. Yeah, he managed to make the save and not take any damage at all. Cool. Okay. Uh, after that, it is the Duergar's turn. So those who've been slightly crisp are more than a little miffed. And they know the source of their irritation. Alrighty, back. Oh boy. I only have 25 feet so they can get there. Uh, he will shoot you with a crossbow and then drop his crossbow to draw his sword. Or his war pick. So it'll be a 20 to hit for 5 points of damage against Gahesh. Sorry, 5 points? 5 points, yep. And then that one will miss, and then... Uh, 14 to hit you. Gahesh. Yes, that hits. Okay, you'll take another four points of damage. Ooh. Okay. This one will move. There, and then take another shot at you because you're the dangerous fireball guy. Uh, you'll take another nine points of damage as another crossbow bolt hits you. Okay, he will... Uh, the two in the back do not drop their crossbows, but the two in the front have. They drop their crossbows and draw in war picks. All right, it's then going to go to Zelhar. Yep. You're up. Um. All right, I'm going to go and cast my minute meteors. Minute meteors. Yeah. I'm same thing, doesn't matter. Is it? It's minute, yeah. Because yeah. they're tiny. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to cast that so I have the six of them spiraling around me. Now, it says I can <laughs> cast, I can shoot out one or two. Yep. If I shoot two, can I select two different locations or does it have to be the same spot? Um, it doesn't exactly... It's a point or points you choose within 120 feet. Oh, or points. Okay, cool. Um... Because it says it explodes in a five foot uh, radius, yeah. Radius, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. So um, if I put one there, like on this square, it would, would hit that him hit? and him. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to go shoot one uh, with my bonus action, of course, right there, and another one right there. Uh, just so you're aware. When mm -hmm. you cast them, you get a free attack of one or two, and then you can use your bonus action to cast another one or two. Oh. Yes. Fancy. Okay. Well. So, where do you want to put all four of them? Um, how beat up are the ones who took the fireball? Very. They're very beat up? Mm hmm. Uh, I guess my, like,. Can I do my action first and then use my bonus action? Yep. Afterwards? Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'll do one there and then one right there. All right, so dexterity save in the first one. He'll succeed. Second one will succeed. So they take... They'll, they'll do the first one, which is the nine. They take half, which would be five. And they did not have enough health to survive even half. Oh. All right. So they're done. Yeah, they had four HP left. Okay. Sweet. Okay. The one over here. Oh, your DC is 15. So little dude fails and big dude succeeds. So little dude will take eight points of damage. And the big dude will take four points. Okay. All right. Is the little dude still up? Sorry? The little guy's still up? Yeah, this little one's still up. Yep. He was not hit by the yeah. fireball. This one was. Oh, okay. 
So then uh, for my bonus action, because I still have four of them, mm -hmm. I'm going to put another one right there, and then I'm going to put one basically just centered on him. Okay. And, but far enough away that it won't affect my friend who is down. Little guy takes half. Big guy takes half. And the other little dude will take half and survive. Ooh. Damn it. Oh, well. That's uh, That was a fair bit of damage and cleared out the guys who are rushing towards us. It's true. Okay, so you've set it for your Meteor Swarm already doing a crap ton of damage and wrecking the ranks. Uh, as, the, as the big man turns towards you with this kind of grimace, he's going to make a stomping motion directly on Soleil. You know... <laughs> uh, that is considered... What's your con mod, good sir? I'm at minus six right now, and I have 12 con. You are officially dead. Yep. And then he'll take a swing at the dragon, born for a nat 20. Oh, boy. All right, so that's going to be... Seventeen points of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use vengeful assault. Uh, what's that one do? Uh, it is when I take damage from a creature in range of my weapon I am wielding. I can use my reaction to hit them. Excellent. Go ahead, and hit them. Was that? Oh, after sorry. That should have been the ten rage. Seventeen was after his rage. Yep. Wow. Uh, as you go to strike him, it just bounces off of his armor, which, now that you get a better look, is full plate. Oh, boy. You can hear that grumbling from the rear passage get just a little louder. As the, as the guy looks towards you and grins, he goes, <laughs> and under common, he says, you're about to be Dragon Chow. Okay. Top of the round. It's going to go to Carrick. Okay. Um. I'm going to... He won't get an attack of opportunity if I teleport, correct? Correct. All right, so I'm going to teleport here. And I'm going to smack the little guy. All right. Okay, swing at him, but don't manage to find purchase. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll slap him again. Okay, the second time, as you hit him, plus two damage as well. Uh, you <laughs> nearly take him directly off his feet just from the get-go. He's heavily wounded, but still standing. Okay. Okay, that that's it for you. Be my turn, yeah. All right, Gahesh. All right, Gahesh is going to go up here, because that's exactly 30 feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go lightning bolt this okay. way uh how can i do it kind of no. like this yeah oh like oh, i mean like diagonally down there no 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 like this up oh, straight okay oh you snap to center instead it lets you make a draw straight a line kind of like, oh okay yeah but anyways yeah i'm gonna do lightning bolt okay what's the dc dc 14 okay Ooh, 30 for 30 points of damage. Not bad. So the big guy is only going to be taking half as he actually manages to raise shield. Um, and the lightning bolt by and large gets deflected by the odd, not quite metallic shield. 
Um, but the, the other Duregard just gets crisped. You actually dealt more than his maximum health and damage. And he only, nice. he only had two HP, one HP left. So he's a charred husk. Okay. Is there anything else you can do? Nope, that's my action. All right, after Gahesh, it's going to go to Soleil. Ah, uh, you're dead. Sorry. Uh, it's going to go to Beltol. Okay, so... This is... Is it ever worth to revivify someone? Yeah, it absolutely like returns right them. in battle? Maybe not right in battle, but you only have a minute okay. after they're dead. Shit. And it is a touch spell, so you'd have to get really up close. That's nine more rounds, so... I think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we can somehow push the big guy back so you can get to her safely, then yeah, revivify. <laughs> but revivifying her when he's right there is just going to cause him to turn around and just squish her again. Mm. Don't forget I have you a lot can of use your bonus action just to smack him with, the, with your stick too. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, you can always run up there and use a uh, spirit guardians. That's true. I was thinking something like that. Um, I have another type of spirit thing, but that one lasts eight hours. It was pretty cool. The guardian of faith. Is that something that we would be able to use? Uh, so the Guardian of Faith, you essentially set it to guard an area, and it can deal up to 60 points of damage to creatures that try to pass by, yeah. Like, because he said something about a dragon in Undercommon. Oh, yeah, you, you can't speak Undercommon. He said something about a dragon coming up from the passage, so maybe... <laughs> a dragon? That's what that's what he said. <laughs> do you want, I guess both options would be pretty do you viable. Do your guardian of faith? Um, sure. I'm gonna move up and pop it. Where do you want to put it? Well. <sighs> What's better, to make them slow in the Spirit Guardians? Yeah, the Spirit Guardians do kind of rock. Yeah, I'm going to just full power Spirit Guardians. Like fourth level Spirit Guardians or third level Spirit Guardians? Ooh, third level. Fourth level is a little too spicy. All right, sounds good. So you cast your Spirit Guardians... beautiful which you're good it's like anything within 15 feet of you and it's centered on you uh you can actually you pull a lot of durgar spirits out of the ground and you feel this faint resonant <laughs> echo as other regular dwarven spirits hating the fact there are durgar in their mind join you from the corpses in the corner oh i can just imagine the angry ranting they're given I get the fuck out of my mind, you wee little piece of shit. I'll stick you with my axe. So, do you want to move or are you going to stay where you are right now? I'm going to move uh, forward. Remember, you can move, move in six squares. I like move somewhere over here so you can get the little guy and the big guy. Okay, if you move literally to this square, I think you could. Yeah, you can move right here. You get you hit both of them with your spirit guardians. 
Sure. That would be lovely. All right. So it won't be this turn, but it will be on their next turn. And like I said, you can still use your bonus action to smack him with a spirit weapon. Then I would love to. So go ahead and uh, roll for an attack. A d20 plus 6. A d20 plus 6. So 11, 11 will not hit. Oh my god, it's not going well. Woo! It's okay. Okay. Then it's going to be the Duergar's turn. He's going to actually take a moment. Shift just slightly to the side. He guess he started his turn. He still makes that wisdom save. She will pass. He takes... Uh, still take 3d8 radiant damage from you, good sir. So roll 3d8. Oh, uh, I think he's dead. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no. He goes to move to try to get advantage or flank the Dragonborn when the Dwarven Spirits rush up and rip his soul out and begin beating it in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so that was his turn. Um, Zelhar, it's yours. Nice. Um, I'm going to move just a little bit more into here. Mm-hmm. Um, because I still have two meteors, but that's just a bonus action. Um, I don't want to do anything super crazy because the thought of a dragon coming out is a little terrifying. Oh, we got two dragonborns. We can reason with it. You know what? That is that is true. Um, so for my action, I'm going to use uh, Tasha's Mind Whip, which has a range of 90 on the creature. Okay, and it's a wisdom so save? Nope, intelligence. Ah, that he's 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 not as good at that. Um, and then as my bonus action, I'm just going to use the last two of the uh, minute meteors against his ass. Okay. Uh, all right, and that's two dex saves then for him. He saved against literally nothing this turn. Uh, and then that's Tash, what Tasha's Mind Whip does. Okay, so he's going to take 6, 12, and then plus 3 to 6 damage. Uh, so it was the 15. Yeah. And then the, the two sixes, yes. And then he doesn't have 15, any reactions until the end of its next turn. And on its next turn, it can only choose a move action or bonus action it only gets one of them okay uh so this is his turn he's gonna look dazed but still bring the warhammer down on the bar bar right there at the start of his turn he's gonna make a wisdom save which he will pass so he'll take half of your 3d8 damage mr radiant cleric Uh, so he'll take five radiant damage, which is good. And then he'll swing twice at our Barbar -bar friend. Bar -bar. Why? Oh, yep. boy. That is a 19 to hit. Yep. That is a... got to double check that one. Uh, 15 to hit. Yep. Both hit. Okay. Yep. So he's still enlarged, which means nine points of damage from the first attack and okay. ten points of damage from the second attack. Okay. Now, as you guys are sitting there watching this massive Durgar batter the crap out of your friend, you see... A faint curl of smoke appear coming from the edge of the cavern. There's a bit of smoke coming from right there. And the Dragonborn can actually see... Did I put that in the right layer? Yeah, it's in the right layer. The Dragonborn can... Uh, Barbar can actually see a red dragon making its way down the cavern itself. Making its way downtown, it's walking fast, and it's homebound. Oh, uh, uh, that's a red dragon. Mm. 
That's not good. No. Uh, on the plus side, he looks a little derpy. Just a little bit. He looks a little derpy. <laughs> he does look derpy, it's true. Okay. <laughs> the way he's walking. Yeah, I'm gonna roast you guys. <laughs> I'm assuming you mean the dragon or the Jurgar? The dragon. <laughs> okay. Uh, we go back to the top of initiative with Soleil. I'm oh, sorry, no, Carrick. There we go. It's Carrick. You're up. Mm. Just like taunting me with that, don't you? I, I do. It's good. Uh, I'm not doing so good. Um. Uh, what kind of state does the big Drugar look like? He's what? fairly heavily injured at this point. Okay. Okay. Um. You have our uh, potion of uh, enlargement, don't you? Yes, I have a potion of growth. And yes, I could use it, but that would take up my action. Mm -hmm. And honestly, he might get me down on the next one. Right. think probably what my best action is going to be is uh i'll hit him twice with my great axe one two okay as you take the two swings neither one finds purchase Oh, okay. And then bonus. Uh, need that ruler thing. There. Okay, I'm going to teleport. <laughs> gonna bamf. To that square. <laughs> okay. So I need a second, folks. I dropped my dice beneath the couch. <laughs> That's the worst. Yep. The worst thing that happens. Try to get the Drugar to move. <laughs> Oops. And wasted 20. <laughs> Your musket goes off from the dead. Shoots him in the leg. <laughs> hey, he stomped on me and misfired. Okay, so <laughs> got the die back. Sorry to ruin the uh, the engagement. So you teleported away, good sir, and then we were yep. gonna go to. Bell, uh, Gahesh, sorry. All right. So I am going to use my movement to get over here, and I am going to do burning hands at third level on him. You said he was wearing metal armor, correct? He is, yep. He will most certainly fail that and take 23 points of fire damage, which completely immolates him. Nice. Oh, By so the he... way, guys, there's a dragon coming. <laughs> so he kind of falls <laughs> to the ground. You can see his hand kind of outstretches and starts to push towards the dragon. He says, avenge me, you lazy asshole. And he passes out <laughs> as he dies. Lazy. Nice. All right. So... Go, go revivify our friend. 
Um, it's it's we're still in combat. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm just I'm just like thinking out loud. I'm like we need the river fire friend. Do I have any idea how many rounds until that dragon yep. gets here? One. Okay, we got one round to prepare. <laughs> All right. I have a lot of ball bearings. Do you think if I whip it down the hallway, it'll slow it down? Could we hide? <laughs> I I don't know if hiding will uh... potentially. Okay, as you guys are discussing this, it nope. is currently the dragon's turn. Oh. Yep. Oh, I... right. Steps into it, looks down at the burnt corpse of the large Duergar, which did not shrink after death. Master, where food now? It says in Undercommon, having learned the language. It looks up and sees... That there is a there's a dragonborn in front of it. You friend? It asks in Draconic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, friend. We friend. Bring food now. Tell him he is your food. We roasted him. <laughs> He's the perfect... <laughs> he's Tell perfectly well done. Just get him food. Want food! And with that, he will breathe a fire breath directly in front of him. Going this way. So, these two squares in front of him. Uh, you're going to need to make a dex save, Mr. Gahesh. Uh, that is not good. I'm going to use my inspiration. Good choice. Good choice. Oh, Excellent. Um, I'm still not sure you'll survive this. You're at max health, right? No. Good fucking... <laughs> you take 30 points of fire damage. The massive fire breath rolls over you. Okay, so I'm not dead. Yeah, because I do have a hit point maximum of 30. Okay. But uh, I, am, I am at 12 right now. What color of dragonborn are you? I'm black. Okay, that doesn't matter. So uh, you would not be instantaneously dead, dead but you are dropped. Yes, yeah, I am dropped. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. It's going to go to... Oh. Zelhar. God, why didn't you just tell it to eat the, the bird? Get food. get food. Go get one of the pigs. Go get one of those pigs. Those oh. are about, right now, that's about a 20 minute walk away going all the way through this. Yeah, that's why I'm like, uh, is he going to wait for that or is he just going to kill everyone? Get in the cart <laughs> and go get food. <laughs> all right. He, knows oh, he is also extraordinarily stupid and didn't realize where the swirling guardians were. He's going to make a wisdom save and fail ah. and take 3d8 radiant damage. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Tiny dwarves hurt. All right. Um, if, if I yell out an under comment, I'm going to go get you food right away. Just don't kill anyone else. Will he listen? Make a persuasion check with advantage. Uh, with advantage. Uh, good thing persuasion's my specialty. Oh, oh. He'll, look, he'll look at you, nod, and then sit down, just waiting for the food to come. 
Okay. Okay. Um, get, get, make sure your spirits aren't gonna hurt him. Bell. Bell. I designate that. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. He's good now. He's good. Right. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna jump into the minecart. I'm just, I'm just gonna yell, "Push me as hard as you can." I start pushing him as hard as I can. Hey, just, just let me point out the end of those tracks go right into the magical forge. So, <laughs> just a note. I'll just, I'll jump out at time. <laughs> in time. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'll cruise to go grab what the one of the pigs, the one that isn't branded with our friends. Yes. Okay. So being out of combat. Um. Do I do my three death saves? Yeah. Uh, you also like, uh, I'm assuming that the crow Kenku guy is going to go revivify. Um, yes, our, sir. Yeah, okay. And stabilize. So it'd be one mm -hmm. turn, From. two turns. Uh, he, you can actually roll your death saves, Gahesh, but unless you roll a crit fail on the next one, you'll be brought back. So just don't roll a one on your next, you're fine. You're back. Because Beltol, okay. Beltol can be, can use two does two third level spell slots, and can oh no Beltol you don't you only have one third level spell slot because you used one third level spell on the weapon and one third level spell on your guardians. He's mm, just no, used stabilized. That's a cantrip, isn't it? He does have stabilized. It's true. He has. I have spare the dying. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, and then but, I think one of us has healing potions, so we can just. Open I have um, I have a, a lot of greater healing. I have a lot of uh, pure wounds. Just start pumping yeah. it at first level. Like do it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever so, I can uh, do. I I run and grab or get the one pig mm -hmm. that uh, isn't branded and start like hoofing it back. I uh, I scrounge up whatever other food I can find and put in the cart. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we. Okay, so just to clarify, oh, do I You're get revivified? <laughs> yes. You do get revivified. You're currently at 11 HP. Just sit up, throw up on the floor, <laughs> and crawl out of the room. Because <laughs> I don't want to be. Do I need to roll more death saves? Uh, yes, you need to roll one more death. Or, yeah, another death save. Okay, that's one success and two failures. Oh, sorry, no, 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 sorry. Nine. You stable, you're stabilized. You're at zero, but you're fine. If as long as you cure wounds, yeah. you'll wake up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. curing wounds on people right now. Holy. Oh. Sorry. So right. you'll regain five, Gahesh. Okay, cool. Thank you. I was close to death. Note to self: get Ooh. the bird something shiny. <laughs> Okay, as you make it back with the meat, he looks at the pig, makes a little kind of thing, which is enough warning for you to get the way out of the way as he roasts it with his dragon flame. He kind of Jump trundles of over, way. trundles over, and just starts nomming it. Yes, good friends, good food. More food? Need more food. Always hungry. Uh, Always hungry. Eat the Point dead to the cart dwarves. full of food. <laughs> He'll trundle over to the cart and start munching. What do you guys want to do? Um, GTFO? Just get the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't know. It's either check down that hallway where he came from, which is probably just to his nest, or get the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Or kill him. I, I think I... I... A, we can do that without, you know, doing that. Um, I'm, I'm sure we can do it. Um, I don't know. While he's, because I'm assuming, like, because you said there's a storeroom where they had just a ton of food, right? Yeah, we guys moved most of it up to the carts, but a bit of it was loaded out yeah. as well, yeah. Yeah, so um, if me and uh, Dredge just keep getting like that food and like feeding it to him can i can we ask everyone else just while he's busy just do a quick check of like his lair to see if there's anything interesting i guess i'm gonna go out ahead and say this what do you think a red dragon covets the most their stuff 
And if we even so mm -hmm. much as deign to go look at his stuff, he's gonna fucking eat ya. Yeah, but this oh, that's why... Weird. that's why we ask him first. Yes. And if he says no, we leave. I'm gonna go around the corner while you guys do that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, all right. You know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go. I'm gonna, okay. We're gonna go get a lot of food for you. Okay. Um. In the meantime, you can eat this guy. He's roasted the perfection. Yep. Um. I guess before I guess before I say that, should we like loot him? I don't know. He did say like he recognized that he was his master. I don't really know if we should try and like look at his stuff eh. no i'm just gonna we're just gonna say okay you can munch on him we'll bring we'll come back with more food you know why don't you go the, drag all the other dead fucks upstairs and bring oh we threw him in the tree never mind no wait no we, we didn't actually no we that, didn't did we? Yeah, bring them there. all back for him to eat yeah well what well, i was thinking up. was the thing kind of was like okay we'll all go back we'll all get him food well, that's what we'll tell them. You can munch on the dead people because they're dead. So you can munch on them for food. We'll we'll all you know come back down here where he you know he can't hear us, and then w me and the wizard will use powerful spells and we'll just collapse one of the tunnels. All right, before we do anything, yeah, go peek down that hole. Uh, the hole itself leads into near infinite darkness. Just leads down. Right. Nope. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. I. I. I feel like that's probably the best plan is to just collapse the tunnel and fuck off. Yeah, because he'll die of starvation. Well. And for how big? I uh, can roll a stealth check. Because getting roasted once is enough. <laughs> so as you try to sneak around the dragon, he, he stops eating and looks at you and looks where you're going and says, My stuff. No, 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 no. And goes back to eating. Do you want to continue? I want to book it. <laughs> Make where a dexterity saving throw. It? So so we're all down the hallway, all in the green. <laughs> Where yeah, we're going. I'm, I'm going to this hallway. Guess is on <laughs> yeah, I'm going down there. <laughs> I kind of want to be like, we're like going this way. Like, hey okay, guys, we got to collapse the tunnel. Why is there only four of us? <laughs> you will take 54 fire damage as he blows you up. That's fair. I'm dead. <laughs> what in the fuck are you doing? God, I'm out of revivify. I don't think yeah. we can get back there to revivify him I with think the we dragon. <laughs> That's all good. I actually have to leave the game, so all right. that, that was fun, all guys. Right. Thanks uh, for playing. Okay. okay. All right. Um. All right. Collapse the tunnel. Let's. Uh, all right, everyone. Uh, we'll be back with food. Just. Um, just keep eating those guys. We'll be back soon. We should uh, yep, yep. collapse it here. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, do we still have that potion of giant growth? Yep. Uh, yeah, and also a potion of uh, hill giant strength as well. Or hill giant strength. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, should we maybe use that and try to collapse this stuff too? Well, here's the thought. How explosive is this dwarven ale right here? Well, that's a good idea, too. Fairly. Okay, well, why don't we okay. stack it up over there? We'll go grab a bunch of the coal and whatnot from the forge area. Stack that up in there. Go grab more of the kegs of ale. Stack that up in the area. And too the... bad we didn't have all that magical crap. We could pour that... Oh, oh gagging even at the thought. What? What do I have? Oh yeah, I have uh, twenty oil flasks. I, I'm sure we can put a couple of those in there. Yeah. Okay. If you're willing to do all of that and expend a fireball spell slot, I will say you successfully collapse that collapse the cavern. We don't. We don't have fireball. Wait. Dragon what fire level, breath. Like what level is? I have scorching fireball. Ray. It's uh, fireball spell. Three. Uh, hold on. I have the minute meteors. 
spiritual weapon is a giant hammer. I will use bolstering magic to give you back a spell slot. No, no, no. Well, I I don't have the fireball spell. That was our wizard. Who yeah, he's oh, right. dead. He's dead. Died. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, the closest scorching... I have is a uh, scorching ray. If you used minute meteors and sent all of them simultaneously, I would allow it. Oh. I could also use uh, minute meteors at a fourth level spell and get an extra two meteors and yep. launch it all. Yeah. That sounds yeah, good. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> so we'll go, we'll stack everything up. Mm hmm. Uh, we're gonna move the horses. But they already with up. Oh right, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already moved the horses. Oh yeah, and the pigs. Yeah, we went. We went all the way upstairs to grab <laughs> one of them. Um, we gotta do this quick. Yeah, yeah. We're doing that. I'm gonna cast at fourth level. Uh, the, the meteors. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna go kind of like, I guess, over here. Okay. Uh, get everyone out of there. And then I'm going to launch them and f turn and just duck in cover. All right. So you do manage to collapse the cavern in on itself. Doing it okay. at a choke point of the door was a really good idea. And you guys, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. You guys managed to make it back to town, towing with you a lot of the supplies that were actually lost to the raids. Um, you actually have pretty much saved the town of Arkenfield entirely from the starvation that could happen. You're each awarded 500 gold pieces and the title of hero to the realm. Bringing back the pigs for Vazic was a brilliant stroke of genius, and he's willing to offer you anything from his caravan whenever you encounter him at a 10% discount from now on. Nice. Oh, freaking great! So, nice. you, my fine heroes, have conquered the minds of Kazakhan beautiful i was like if we had more time to like prepare i was like trying i was gonna suggest like trying to collapse the tunnel when the dragon was coming out but we kind of were in a really bad spot yeah yeah i was <laughs> thinking that too but it was kind of like that's not happening we're almost dying already <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that last boss fight was something huh yeah. oh 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 hey so we also still have the dragon slayer <laughs> longsword Yep. Ah! <laughs> I wanted him to eat it. I wanted to feed it to a pig or something and have him eat it. <laughs> but I thought that was a little much. That's good, well, though. See, until we figured out how strong the big Drugar was, I'm like, ah, oh, it's fine. We'll kill these guys, and then I'll swap out and put on that, and we should be able to be okay. <laughs> yeah, the big guy just no. wrecked us. It was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, the big guy fucked us over, and I'm like, I don't even know if we can get out of this. It was good. Thank you for the adventure, my friends. Thanks for joining the one shot. It was friggin' fantastic. A um, little bit of a plug thing now for anyone who's watching. If you do want to join in on one of these one shots, there's going to be one on the 24th. Feel free to pop into the Discord and sign up as long as you have not been part of one of my campaigns in the past year or you haven't been part of one of the one shots yet. Uh, so for those, everyone on stream, have an excellent kind of time and I will uh, see my goblins later.